so dear students welcome to class number 3 in the previous classes we saw how to create uh, eps uh, under eps we created projects under projects we created wps okay now this is time to add activities under wps okay this is this all wps okay if you want to check again go to wps okay this all we we assign wps in this area so now you go to activities you can see the wps over here okay now we are going to add activities under wps so before that you should add calendar go to enterprises add calendar okay here we have three type of countries here one is global resources and projects in global calendars many predefined countries here and resource calendars is for resource only for labor or missionaries okay this is our project calendar you can create your own calendar over here by importing from global calendar we okay, give add okay here this is opening from global calendar okay if you want to modify any calendar like a uh, 7 day 24 hours okay this calendar select it okay give a new name build a project so this is our project so here go to modify so here 7 days 24 hours means it is having 7 days working and 24 hours working means three shifts okay so now but now what our calendar should be our calendar should be 10 hours per day and uh, sunday will be holiday means 6 days 10 hours okay so now i am going to modify according to our requirement okay so what what we should do okay so this is a default calendar we are going to modify it go to work week here saturday sunday monday tuesday all weeks there okay click here go to work week here 24 hours is mentioning here change it as 10 hours but we should uh, blank sunday as a zero hours because the holiday okay you okay so here you can see a sunday is a holiday okay you can see sunday is a holiday it uh, it showing in different color all other days is working days if we click here it showing 10 hours if we click here it showing zero hours okay and one more thing if you have any holidays example for january january 2014 first of january is for the new year so you can add as non work day like this way you can add holidays also you can also uh, you can add holidays as non working days okay if you want to do non work days click here it will be work days or non work days okay so we created our own calendar and also one more thing here detailed work hours per day so we can identify how many hours we worked 10 hours so 10 hours when you will start and when it will finish what's the lunch time we can assign over here so the work started in 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock we can say 8 o'clock 8 to uh, 8 o'clock it started okay work work 9 o'clock is working 10 11 12 so work so this this one hour is a is a, our lunch break you can say lunch break and uh, 
so you can count here 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour 4 hour 5 hour 6 hour uh, 7 8 9 10 server it's showing 10 hours okay so keep it safe so we have we assigned 10 hours when it will start and when it will finish what is the lunch break time so we can uh, we can ask we can assign over here okay click ok so we assign our own calendar click ok so if you okay after you assign the calendar you what you should do you have to give uh, uh, the assigned calendar as a default calendar okay go to enterprises calendar this is your calendar just send to global yes okay now go to global okay this is our calendar okay last time it was uh, standard 60 days 10 hours as a default calendar but now i am going to change it build a project as a default calendar why i I have to change this one because the purpose is whenever you add new activities this default calendar will assign okay that's why so once you created the calendar sent to global and uh, active as a default calendar okay close it so now we want to add activity just the same way click add submission and approval here in Structural structural drawings finishing work drawings MVP. So here we can we can assign duration for this activity. Shop drawing for approval it will take minimum 14 days. Submission will take 14 days. 28 days we can fix. 28 days. Same 28 days. Same 28 days. So we assigned activities under WPS and the assigned uh, activity uh, duration as 28 days okay so here milestone activity we can uh, we can assign we can add activity like project uh, start start and uh, project finish project finish okay first of project order this activity and procurement we can add the same structural the same activity just copy and paste it okay here you should to give some duration over here submit a lot of material to them on the two weeks okay I can say I think I can say two weeks maybe two weeks two weeks if uh, some materials from uh, uh, from long uh, if you take a long journey like a long duration to it long long lead items we can add 28 days for this MEP works because if 
it not available in the local market you have to import from outside that's why you can add 20 days for this activity okay the next one the material order and delivery if you want to add the same activity just copy and uh, just set it and uh, copy it and uh, paste it he's asking so can i add uh, can i use uh, the resources which uh, is in the previous activity it means in which in the copied activity okay we want to yes give us because we didn't add any resources we didn't add any expenses we didn't add any codes or anything okay leave it increment how i can increment 10 or 20 okay you can see here 1050 1060 what is the increment is incremented by uh, 10 value 10 if you want to increment it by 5 you can key in 5 okay or 1 you will increment in uh, by 1 by 1 by 1 okay okay keep it same 10 okay it is incremented by 90 100 110 okay so now delete this activity is not okay so now the same activity is repeating once again here so so now we add our activities so the same same way we have to add for construction activity substructure add uh, foundation works activities for uh, construction So I am giving duration for uh, engineering, procurement and construction but I didn't give duration for uh, milestone. Why? Because this milestone activity here in general, you can see here the activity type is text dependent. The default will be text dependent. Okay. For milestone activity it should be start milestone and uh, finish milestone. Okay. As I told you earlier, this milestone activity has no, has no uh, uh, durations. Okay, no durations. And also, uh, we can we can't uh, we can't see progress. We cannot see monitor the progress in milestone activities. So it is for view purpose only. Okay, but we can uh, give prediction successor for these activities. We can link the activities. Okay, now the column you can see here. Uh, here the column icon click here and here you can see activity id activity name model duration and uh, this one to start and finish plant start and finish performance okay okay here is our start date and finish date and uh, percentage of condition we didn't do any percentage of condition that's why uh, this column is not okay Okay, so here we created uh, activities under uh, WPS, okay, and duration also. So in next class you can see uh, briefly how to how to add uh, columns and uh, how to add links between activities. These activities we have to link the activities, okay. In these activities there is no link, we added activity just uh, without any links, okay once we added the link we can get 
the completion date and duration and accurate okay so now the class is over now we will see the next classes thank you